this is the third part of our 3d modeling house tutorial in this video we'll finish all the slab this design and also the other sun shades okay so we'll start drawing the polyline for the slab is all this that slab line is still here perpendicular to this line here and end it here go to extrude select L that is for last extrude that by 6 inch you can put this into layer called slab okay this is done now if you see in this 3d model this is projecting everywhere outside that is it's projecting by say I think 9 inches okay so what you can do is select extrude faces select this edge this edge this edge so all these faces are selected this one you can see these this but we don't need this one so remove R type R and enter and remove this okay then press the extrusion height 9 inch so it is all extruded okay now same way extrude this side that is this face this face this and this remove this one 9 inch extrude that by 9 inch you see all it is extruded out I left here you can extrude this you can select this face extrude 9 inch okay now we'll draw this one you can press here is these two dimensions and even this select press full select this this by 9 inch 3d rotate rotate it and move it move this one to here okay now these two are overlapping don't keep any overlap objects in the 3d model so you have to remove this so what you can do is copy this last objects and place it in the same position go to subtract select this slab enter select this enter so it's subtracted okay you can see this is in different layer now we have to draw this okay that is 9 feet 4 and a half inch okay draw a box from this corner length is 9 feet 4 and a half inch 9 inch width and 6 inch height we can match all this to the same layer we can join this these two okay then there is this railing first one first railing is 5 inch above the parapet wall and it is 2 inch thick okay so we'll draw a box length is till here 2 inch width 2 inch height box from this point length is till here 2 inch 2 inch join these two okay put this into railing layer move that by 5 inch up and copy this from this space point to second point third point okay you can see this gap is 5 inch and this top railing is 4 inch okay this gap is 5 inch correct this is 4 inch so you have to extrude you have to go to 
extrude face select this face and extrude that by 2 inch extrude that by 2 inch okay that is done so all this is done next we'll draw a sun shade you can go press pull and select this this by 9 inch move this this is the base point go to point filters click this and select z direction the point in z direction that is still here this you can put inside shade layer copy this from this point to this point okay we could turn it back this is the flooring press erase this just press pull and uh, pull it up by 18 inch and this by 9 inch and this one also by 9 inch can press pull all this by 9 inch now move Move all this from this point. You can move it by say eight feet six inch. That is the lintel level of of the doors and windows. Okay. Match this. Okay. You have to extrude this. Go to extrude face. Select this face. This point to this, so this will be closed. Okay, you can draw two steps here. Say four feet length, one feet right, and one feet height. Again, one more step. Four feet, one feet, six inch. Okay, this is enough. Now. We have to draw the parapet wall all over here. Okay, what you can do here is draw a polyline starting from here. Draw a polyline in the outermost part. Okay. That is still here. You can see this is the this is the polyline which I did just now. Now go here. Draw a rectangle. At this point, that is six inch by two feet six inch. That is thirty inch. Okay, I should have drawn thirty inch by sixty six inch. No problem. We can draw it as in this like this. Okay. Now this will be the parapet wall, and we have to extrude through this polyline. It is under this slab. You can erase this slab for the time being. Extrude, see, extrude. Select the rectangle. Okay. And then go to path. That is P path. Enter and select this line path. So it will be extruded in this path. Okay. Again, oops. To get back that slab. Okay. Mark this. That is done. Okay. Now you have to draw this design. This design. Even this can be done in same way. 
you have to extrude object by the path so draw the path like this draw a polyline which will be the path for the extrusion This is the uh, 6 inches the parapet wall thickness. We have to draw the shape which we want to extrude. So go to polyline and draw the polyline here. Okay, move that outside. This is the shape of that design. Rotate it in this axis like this. Okay, then move this and place in the starting point of the polyline that is we have started from here rotate this move this by one inch outside okay this polyline is under this solid object so you can erase this for the time being go to extrude select the objects enter p for the path enter and select the path okay oops to get back that last objects okay this is done so put this inside set band okay you can see all this is done now just we'll draw a base for the 3d model we'll trace this out line okay extrude that by minus 6 and put this inside a layer which are done as yard okay so our major part not major part almost everything is finished only we have to draw the windows wooden windows and the glass pan, pan panels all these we have to draw which we'll draw in we learn to draw 3d model of the windows in our next video okay i'll stop here save it and close it